It's time to get ready to take the RS1 to its new home. Nathan from Florida won this back in December, and we're going to be heading to uh, Windrock. We're going to be doing 17th through 23rd, crawling all around that place, taking the Expedition, taking the Pro R with 37 O bores. Uh, that's going to be wild. Plus, we haven't seen it that much since Glamis because I rolled it there. But we got the turbo kit on. So turbo kit, 37's ripping, plus Jake and his turbo R, plus it, uh, Cousin Joe and his Can-Am, plus Turtle and his Razor Turbo S. It's going to be, and Nathan, he has a Pro R and multiple RS1s, even more now. Step one, probably look, be looking over the wedge. Truck maintenance, Razor maintenance, so many damn things. I, uh, you guys know how it goes if you do this. <sighs> Last minute. <laughs> oh, it's always last minute. Another day and a little bit closer, boys. Officially take off tomorrow to head to Tennessee, but right now I got to head up to Auto Doctor in Buckley and do a bunch of tire swapping and a little bit of maintenance on Turd Ferguson. Turd Ferguson's already there, so I got to just drive this beast up to Buckley now. Dude, 37s on the expedition? <laughs> wow. Expedition on Rampage 32 inch tires, stock Pro R rims and tires. Got ri Get rid of the 33 inch, uh, god dang, Terra Masters. A little bit smaller, but uh, it, the, these don't leak, the other ones were leaking. And then we got a truck bed full of rubber here. But the big story here, 37s, old bores. Gonna be putting that on the Pro R. Uh, ran 35 Zillows before, but not the old bars. Jake's run 35 old bars on his Turbo R, but first time running 37s. It's insane that's gonna be on a side by side. Thank you, Auto Doctor. Yeah. yeah. They got Turd Ferguson. Fresh uh, transmission fluid change here, and uh, we're gonna be ripping to Tennessee tomorrow. Also, if anybody has a flatbed hookup, let me know. Somebody backed into me, and I might have ruined the other side. Whoa, what the hell happened there? Or if somebody's got a bumper, let me know, because Nick hit a deer with my truck. <laughs> Turd Fergalicious, dude. <laughs> All right, the day has finally come. It is Sunday, and we're gonna start headed down to Tennessee, just outside of Knoxville, where Windrock is. Um, still at my house, we got the wedge ready to get loaded up, but most importantly, Nathan's RS1 that he won back in December is right there. And uh, yeah, it's time to load her up onto the big old wedge. I haven't used the wedge in a long time. I think it's been like a year, it's been a minute, so. Can't wait to drive 11, 12 hours of this thing. But after we get everything loaded up, headed to Bob God's Houghton Lake Hardcore Performance, pick up the Pro R. You guys saw me put the 37s on there, so it's gonna be a doozy. And yeah, plus we gotta pick up Jacob. And then Cousin Joe, Nick's buddy, or Nick's cousin is gonna be uh, traveling down there with us. So let's load the sucker up. Nick's not going, unfortunately. Nope. Of course, work, everything else in life. 
We're all hardworking dudes. <laughs> and we got responsibilities. <laughs> but huge congratulations to Nathan Whitmere. I hope I didn't say your last name wrong. Pretty sure I think that's it was it. right. Yep, Nathan Whitmere. I'm sorry that I'm not going to be there to give you this awesome built Mini America to you. Uh, but Chief, Jake, those guys are going to be down there. You guys are going to shred. You're going to kill it. And like, your cousin. You'll be there in oh, spirit. Oh, yeah, I will. I'll be, I'll be there in cousin spirit. Joe. Exactly. Big Joe will be there. Cousin Joe. Uh, but no, again, congratulations, Nathan, on winning up uh, Mini America build. Super sick. We just got to have your cousin laughing like that. Yeah. It's going to be the same. Yeah, you, you just close your eyes. He is here. <laughs> so. All right. To Bob's. All right. Later, guys. Pro Ours Live. We're here at Hardcore Performance in Houghton Lake. And fresh wrap. Barrett Hepburn uh, just got a complete one. She was a little tore up. All the plastics were broke. Bob went and plastic welded everything and just completely went through the entire vehicle. Uh, Super ATV A-arms. So far, blah, I've had him hit, they cracked, he had a weld on them. They're being a little difficult to, not a little, they are being difficult to work with, which is unfortunate. They're usually super easy, but new owners, who knows. But Bob got her all looking tight. It's actually unbelievable. It's been so long since I've seen it, since December. So, yeah, excited. Got to, I'm going to actually drive something with power now. I'm used to the expedition. All right, we got three of the four that were taken. Now off towards Flint uh, to pick up Jake's Turbo R, which that thing has a fresh Barrett Hepburn wrap on it that has not been on the channel yet. You would have seen it if you follow us on social media, TikTok, Facebook, Instagram. Do if you don't. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna head down there and go get him, because if you guys didn't know, Jake lives like three hours away from me. Very inconvenient. All right, we made it to break at Jake's place, and Turbo R looking tight with that Barrett Hepburn wrap. It completely changed the vehicle. It doesn't even look like the same machine anymore. Looking tight. Definitely got to be the coolest setup we've had on this wedge yet. Woo! For sure. We're going to come back with one last one, but... Ah! Oh, that one looks hella tight. Man, can't wait to give it to Nathan. Well, yeah. Dude, the way your ramp is, how it ties in the ass end is awesome. Yeah. Thanks, dude. Yeah, it looks really sweet. Dude. Yeah, this is Chief's first time seeing it, so I was really excited to show him. Pretty excited to get down there and ride, too. Yeah, I know. I wish we were there right now. What do we got from here? What I think it's like eight, nine hours. Probably call it ten with stops. Yeah. You know, we'll we'll be there before you know it. <laughs> I was running the hot tune out of the way here in the truck. So. How'd it do? <laughs> she was doing pretty good. Ten right. miles a gallon, dude. <laughs> It's time to go to Tennessee, boys. 53 foot wedge. We actually have space this time, bro. Yeah, that's, that's true. We had five vehicles last time. We got four on there. But we got the expedition. She's a big girl. Put the <laughs> R in the sun gun. RS1's like a Tonka toy compared to all these <laughs> other ones. But now we finally start making our way down to Tennessee. Cousin Joe, he's going to be following with us. He's a little bit towards Detroit, so he'll jump into the convoy. But it's time to crush these miles. Let's go. Go. We gotta drop this thing off to Nathan. We're coming for you, boy. Yeah, you ready for your new rig? Get that fixing. Huh? Proceed All the way now. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, we're, yeah we're getting ready. We're getting yeah, ourselves we're getting hyped ready. up. We're preparing. Now we're getting fuel. We're trying to figure out all the trails that we want to attack this time of while we're down there. But yeah, we made it into Ohio. What do we got left? Ah, 609. Let's go. 609. Ain't nothing compared to California. Yeah, I don't care. We'll probably be getting there like 1 o'clock, I'm guessing. You guys can't see it, but we just passed uh, Bob's cycle and just kind of realized something. Every freaking rig that is on this trailer right now is all came from Bob's cycle, Sydney, Ohio. Cheapest place to get any Polaris, hands down. Uh, great people to work with, but wild. Expedition RS1, Turbo.
Turbo R, Pro R, all came from there. And then crazy. One, that's crazy. And then what else came from there? The Pro XP, my Turbo, Turbo S. S. God dang. <laughs> thanks, Bob Circle. <laughs> yep, thanks, Bob. And uh, Polaris, you should be thanking us for all the money we give you, dang guys. There you go. <laughs> but we're crushing it. What? We got like five hours left. Yeah. Our last pit stop, well, last fuel stop here, and then we're gonna make our way down there, weasel our way into this campground, hopefully, or our <laughs> Airbnb cabin. Or cabin. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be a tight fit, I'm thinking. But everything's still we're gonna there. Make it's it. all strapped down. Almost everything's yeah. there. <laughs> R.I.P. windshield. <laughs> Super ATV plastic one that had zip tied on there is no longer there. But oh well. You Someone get more airflow this trip, I guess. Yeah, I, I brought my half one shit. <laughs> there we so. go. Well, might go run over to the good old Walmart and get us some, some little supplies before making our way there. Yeah, what, by the way, what Airbnb don't have blankets and pillows? I was reading the email, I'm like, they don't have blankets and pillows, just sheets. That's <laughs> wild. Good. We were making jokes about it, and then <laughs> he said that. I'm like, no way, you're joking. <laughs> well, I guess that's a thing. Off to Walmart. Yeah, off to Walmart. <laughs> I guess we're not getting anything at Walmart. <laughs> Freaking alarms are going off, dude. Guess she's shut down. <laughs> I can't get out now. Yeah, yeah. Scoot, <laughs> I guess we'll figure that out at a later time. <laughs> I can't believe the alarms went off. <laughs> okay, we made our way through the mountains here. And uh, I actually think it's gonna be pretty easy back and I don't think it's gonna be that hard. This seems like a lot of room, actually. We were worried about it on the way here. I was pretty but... skeptical. We were looking at our old video trying to scan <laughs> the area because we were here a long time ago. But yeah, let's give her a whirl. I got you. Here's the cabin, boys. There's the bed. There's the shitter. <laughs> no microwave or anything. No, man, we showed up and it was like. I thought we were joking. Nothing. We're yeah. camping, yeah, for sure. Yeah, yeah. This is literally <laughs> just a rough. There's no heat. It's just, it's just faux. <laughs> it's just faux. This is what I slept in last night, guys. And all my clothes, I literally was under here and like trapped myself in it. It didn't really help. There's my pillow. What damn Airbnb Has doesn't give you a freaking pillow? Or no blanket. blank, no blankets, no pillows, no no microwave, no no. The hey. refrigerator is this big. Yeah, look look how sad Jake is. Jake is super sad. <laughs> I'm not sad. I'm happy. <laughs> I'm just cold. <laughs> At least I set a fire up for you. Yeah, thanks. Yeah, I looked outside and I'm like, oh, God. Yeah, yeah, so when I opened the door and saw the fire, dude, I was like, you're going to get to it now. Yeah, I literally got my truck running. I'm going to go in there and, like, warm myself up. I'm warm now. Are you? It's in my bones, it feels really? like. I mean, I was pretty darn cold last night. I was, like... I fell asleep for maybe an hour or two, and then I woke up, and the, I just felt like for hours I was just thinking about how cold I was. 
Get the, oh, you look pretty dang good, dude. You look like a dirt dude. <laughs> Get to finally see this thing in action, man. I had to stretch out the seat belts a little bit. I'm a little bit. <laughs> the dark uh, side of Fab Cage, though, worked out perfect. He's a bit of a bigger dude, so. Perfect. About the perfect height, too. About yeah. four inches, so that's good. <laughs> UTV.com for all your aftermarket assassin parts or MTS suspension or Atlas radius rods the list goes on and on patreon longer videos ad free early access and uh, appreciate everybody that supports us on there really helps us out with trips like this and there's many many more to come but for now we got a whole week long of crazy wind rock action coming your way so stay tuned Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>